Welcome to the Hungarian Living Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sebo Voss. Our goal is to discover, celebrate, and share Hungarian heritage and encourage you to do it too. We'll touch on food, travel, history, music, and language, and share stories from our listeners. We're glad you're here. This is a podcast where we'll encourage you to dig deeper to learn about your Hungarian heritage in a variety of ways. We'll have thought provoking conversations and share resources. So, whether you know a little, or a lot about being Hungarian, this is the place to be. Hi there. Happy January. We had to take a little break from the podcast during the holiday mailing season because things were just too busy to record and get new episodes up. But it was super exciting to see the podcast being discovered by so many people around the world. People in over 30 countries have listened. It's very fun to watch as things develop. Normally, January would be a slower time, but orders continue to come in, and with the addition of our online Hungarian language lessons, Hungarian dialogue sessions, and Hungarian cooking classes, I'm finding January to be almost as busy as November and December. We have several interesting interviews coming up in future episodes, but this week I want to focus on a free opportunity that Mudyar Marketing and Mudyar Living have been hosting since 2018. Welcome to Season 2 of the Hungarian Living Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sabovas. Today we're going to talk about the Let's Cook Hungarian Challenge for 2021. Each year, I try to find new Hungarian recipes to try. For some who have lived in a Hungarian community for most of their lives, Hungarian food may not feel like much of a treat. Maybe you have had the privilege of cooking at your nudmama's knee since you were a tiny one. But for those of us who don't live near family or a Hungarian community, club, or restaurant, we are the ones who have to cook it if we want to eat it. And since we are all spending a little extra time at home these days, we might as well make some delicious food. Settling in on a recipe is daunting because there is never just one recipe, and often not even just one name a recipe goes by. Not to mention, not all ingredients are available in every area outside of Hungary. So sometimes we need to adapt and make do depending on the growing season and what is available to purchase. Another difficulty involves the language barrier. You might have great recipes in Hungarian from your grandmother, but maybe you don't speak Hungarian. And then there is always the fun of metric conversions, unless you have decided to buy a scale. There are a lot of reasons to be intimidated by Hungarian cooking, but there is such incredible food waiting to be discovered that I hope you join in on the fun. Since 2018, I have been inviting people to participate in the Let's Cook Hungarian Challenge. If you don't regularly cook Hungarian food, I invite you to participate. Even if you do regularly cook Hungarian food, there may be some things we will make that are things you haven't ever tried, or you might have some great tips and techniques to offer to the group. I'm not an expert, but I know that sometimes being a part of a group commitment helps certain personalities, like mine, follow through on fun ideas. Knowing there are others out there cooking motivates me. So here are some of the details for the 2021 Let's Cook Hungarian Challenge. If you have not qualified for an apron before, 2021 will be a great year for that. First, you must email me about your intention to participate. Then, if each month you complete the dish that has been assigned and you send me an email about your experience, you can earn a free Hungarian chef apron. If you live in the United States, with the exception of Alaska and Hawaii, I will even pay to ship the package to you. I will include all the details in the show notes. Each month, there will be a new assigned recipe, and it will come through our e-newsletter. You will have to sign up for the third week, which covers Hungarian recipes, foods, and traditions. But in the show notes, I'll have all that information. Involve the generations. If you live far away from a family member who is a great cook, contact them about their recipe. Engage in conversation about your assignment and get their insight. You likely have an expert in your midst. Glean from them. I'm not an expert. I'm just helping you along with some motivation. The apron is really secondary. Helping you engage with Hungarian food is actually my first priority. If you have a Hungarian cookbook, you can use the recipe from there. You can find recipes on the internet or you can use your own family recipes. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things and new techniques. The goal is to expand on what you know, but mainly to eat more Hungarian food. Have fun. Enjoy the experience. And remember, don't take yourself too seriously. This opportunity is mainly about making a deeper connection with your Hungarian heritage 
via delicious Hungarian food, I want you to feel more confident in the kitchen. Connect with us in our private Facebook group. Ask your questions there. We have some great cooks in the group with a wide variety of experiences. There will be a link to that also in the show notes. In January, we will make chicken paprikash. If that feels like old hat to you, make sure you make your own dumplings. Make the cucumber salad. Make a loaf of rustic bread to go along with the meal. Expand your knowledge by bumping it up a little. You can go out and butcher the chicken. Just because you have made a dish before does not mean that you are an expert or can't improve on it. But it also all depends on what your month looks like. So keep in mind, we still have 2021 unraveling before us. If all of this is what you normally make, consider branching out and trying veal, beef, venison, or mushroom paprikash. I will have a link to a recipe for chicken paprikash in the show notes. I started out making this dish the way my brother makes it, and then I started following a different recipe. And guess what? You could do that too. If you need to make gluten-free dumplings, you do that. Don't like sour cream? Don't use it. Each family will have its variations. You really don't have to go out and butcher the chicken. You don't have to make your own paprika, but you can certainly do all those things if you want to. The goal here is to eat more Hungarian food and to find recipes that you will learn to cook and share within your own family. Now, if you've never made chicken paprikash before and you would like some guidance, or if you just love to learn about new ways to do things, we are offering a class with Tunde on Saturday, January 30th. From start to finish, Tunde will teach her recipes, tips, and tricks, and you will learn how to make chicken paprikash dumplings, also known as nukedli, and cucumber salad. When the class is over, you will be ready to serve a chicken paprikash dinner. If you listen to season one of the podcast, you might remember that Tunde was a guest, and we talked about mezash kalach, salon sukor, and habjuk. Tunde also taught a bakery class this past fall for us. And we have more cooking fun coming up this spring with her. She is a wonderful teacher. And even though I have made chicken paprikash lots of times, I am looking forward to the class and learning Tunde's recipe. So, are you ready to join the Let's Cook Hungarian Challenge for 2021? Send me an email. I'll have all the links in the show notes. And we'd love to have you join in on the fun. But don't forget, as soon as you can, get busy on that chicken paprikash recipe. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time. Hungarian Living is a division of Mudyar Marketing, the Hungarian store, where you can find meaningful gifts with Hungarian style. Check us out at mudyarmarketing.com. And special thanks to Stephen Chichek and the Animal Cannibals for the show music. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode of Hungarian Living, please subscribe and share this podcast with your favorite Hungarian. Check out our show notes for links to resources mentioned in this episode. If you have a question or comment, email us at podcast at hungarianliving.com. We'll catch you next time.